Astrology Cougar, and this is your energetic reading for Friday, March 4th. And today is the day before we have an energy shift. The energy is going to be shifting into Pisces um, tomorrow. Um, Mercury is going into Pisces. And so um, the way that we think is going to drastically change. So we, what we were doing before is we were thinking and we weren't adding emotion to it. We weren't um, we weren't connecting to the emotional state, how we felt about those decisions moving forward. Now that Mercury is moving in to Pisces, it's the ultimate feeling energy, right? It's the old, it's so, it's filled with love and compassion. Um, our mind will be filled with nothing but emotion and our intuition is going to be off the charts. So Say we're trying to decipher what we want to do and what we're trying to do is um, like logically we've deciphered it, but now we need to understand if emotionally that's where we need to go. So today we're going to start to feel a lot of the shift because when um, we start to get in touch with Piscean energy, it starts to seep into our mind because Mercury is associated with the mind. Um, it really starts to dive deep into what is emotionally motivating us. So today, um, you may feel a little bit emotionally backed up. You haven't really been dealing a whole lot with the emotional aspects. And so I think intuitively you're going to start to understand that you've been kind of disconnected from that. Um, Saturn is in a mood today. It's in a serious mood. Um, so there is a demand from the universe to embrace reality and stop allowing um, compassion, love, hope, and fantasy to cloud duty, responsibility, moving forward, releasing what no longer serves you, and get on with your life. Um, what's happening is um, Saturn is opposing all of Piscean energy and it is making you face the reality of where you're emotionally investing and where you are idealizing emotionally outcomes that probably may never manifest or the reason why we talk a lot about, um, Neptune, um, Piscean um, energy and a negative vibration is because Saturn is pulling it into a negative vibration this entire time. It's been squaring it. It's been squaring um, Neptune. It's been squaring Chiron. It's been squaring um, um, the sun. And so what we desire, if it's something we want to emotionally move forward with, it's being hit with this reality of this is what you're really signing up for. Are you sure this is what you want to emotionally commit to? Because this is going to be the challenges that you face, the obstacles that you face moving forward with whatever you are trying to move forward with. So the reality is, yeah, we're all we're all about moving forward momentum and we're all about you know, seeking what we deeply desire down to our core at this point. And it's in our mind. It's in our, it's in our core. It's in, it's just driving us. But Saturn is there. The taskmaster is meeting up with this compassionate, loving, love at all costs. You know, um, much, much of us love at all costs. And for many of us who have been in relationships with karmic relationships, we'll try and we'll stick it out. But Saturn isn't, it's about releasing you at this point. I mean, this, all this energy is about freedom. It's about your voice. It's about individuating yourself and identifying what you really desire, what you really want, what you really deeply deserve. It's about having compassion for yourself. For many of you, this is about following your goals and setting yourself free from the people that hold you back. That is that that is um that energy it's contrary to compassionate, loving Piscean energy that they stick 
by somebody that they deeply love through thick and thin. They love selflessly. Um, they they are huge, beautiful souls that have um, such a broad minded uh, approach to life that they often um, don't judge like other energies do, much to its detriment because with that type of acceptance and the blurring of boundaries come some very interesting dynamics. So you must understand that with Saturn here, making it all about reality and making it all very uh, originated on, you know, what is the obstacles and the limitations of loving somebody or loving or creatively um, pursuing something at all costs. What are you going to give up? What do you need to get through in order to do it? That's what you're trying to figure out. And as we go into Mercury moving into Pisces, our minds are going to start to twist us a little bit um, as it's being squared off of Saturn. Um, it's going to really, for some of us, this is going to be a lot of reality checks. For many of us, it's going to be, it's going to be, do you truly want to follow through based on the information that's before you that makes it impossible for you to not face what you're going to have to face? So, um, tasks, follow through, focus, limitation, and finalizing commitments are all going to be some of the things that are going to be on your mind um, as we move forward in, in this transit and through today. Consequences, facing what you're avoiding, and grasping change. For many of you, there's just change that's imminent. Change, um, as we have Mars and Scorpio, and it's getting into the 29th degree, this is about transformation, change, rebirth, death, endings. It's about, that's it. You know, this is, this is what we're going to move forward with. If you're going to make a commitment to this is the reality, this is what it's going to cost you. This is the dark. This is the light. Like that all the information that's coming in is all about Lots and lots of reality, which is very difficult for sweet little Piscean energy because really, honestly, it likes to idealize outcomes so that it can have this like dreamy state of moving forward against it all odds because you have to be in somewhat of a delusional state in order to want to pursue something that's an immense challenge, right? Um, it's about becoming organizing, creating a routine that can support moving on and moving forward. Um, as we are in this yod, Jupiter is really expanding cracks and issues and, you know, routines and rituals. It is in a quincunx with Uranus and Aries, which is your, which is yourself and um, how you're individuating yourself and how you're, how you're expanding yourself and how you're freeing yourself. But it's expanding those issues so that you can create, it can create momentum. And then with Venus, it's it's really honestly saying, if you were to look at this logically, if you were to look at your relationships and your partnerships and your unions and your and your emotional investments, are you logical or are you thinking with your heart and idealizing things? And if you are, then you're going to square off with Saturn, who's going to give you some reality checks. So it's a very very interesting energy. Um. This energy to me, um, and I've been feeling it myself, is it's really challenging the ways that you honestly don't deal. Like, what aren't you dealing with? Because if you're not dealing with it, Jupiter's going to go in and expand it and make it almost impossible for you not. Because all of this stuff is associated with the North Node in Virgo. And the North Node in um Virgo is all about facing your realities, creating healthy routines. When you want, if you want to move forward, you have to get healthy. You have to, you have to face limitations. You have to expand. You know, you have to, you have to develop. Um, you have to be dutiful. You have to be responsible. Um, that's very, and that's the opposing energy of Pisces. So you can see we're in this weird 
let's move forward. Let's have a dream. I love everybody. It's great. You know, life is good. And then we get these stark reality checks of like, wait a minute, because you did not attend to this part of it. And then we get that um, unfortunate reality check. So positive vibration. Let's talk about that. And we'll end with that. Um, in this energy, you are better. Um, you would do better if you're like the bank of water right now. You're not water energy. You're not extremes. You're not working in extremes. So you're not water-based energy and you're not fire, right? Um, what you are is the bank of like a, like a river or the bank of like um, a lake where the water, where we can gradually walk into water energy. We don't want to just plummet and dive into water energy because then we're going to make us probably some foolish decisions and then Saturn's going to give us a reality check. We want to ground our feet. We want to attach to some earth energy and we have, and that's because earth energy is in a high vibration and it is speaking harmoniously with all of this beautiful Piscean energy. So we want to pull a Piscean energy out of a square with Saturn and really kind of push our energy into manifesting what Piscean energy should be um, manifesting for us. So when water squares fixed energy, it is backing up. It is a dam of your emotions. It is saying, let's just use logic. Fire wants to just use logic and move ahead and be action oriented. And water is, how do I feel about this? You know, um, do I intuitively want this? I mean, but I love this person. You And there's so much more compassion and depth to the water-based energy. But fire energy can be very shallow and action-oriented and, and very immediate and very impatient. So you have contrast here. So when we're going, when we're going to um, stabilize the energy, we're going to attach to earth-based energy. So have the peace of mind that you are standing on solid ground, that you can walk gradually into water, that you can face it. And even if there something comes up, you have the stability to face whatever challenge. Concentrate on stability. Concentrate on your job. Concentrate on your duties and your tasks. That Create stability in these areas and don't get lost in all the dreamy fantasy. I just want to feel good right now. I just want to go take action right now. Like we want to be a gradual, we want to gradually go into the water. We want to swim. We want to have a relaxing day. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Astrology Corner. And I look forward to talking to you guys again.